Hello everybody, today we're back with Shimmering Skies. We're back on the newest set of Lorcana that has come out. I have quickly looked at the cards on this and they have changed it up in a dramatic sense more color more energy that comes off the cards which is it's weird to say but like it's vibrant like it's just energy that exists off these cards looking at them and like i hope there's an enchanted here because i want to see the, the the color that comes off these cards which again it's on a picture on a screen that's in front of me and there's so much color to these that it's just different Again, we're on the, I believe it's the sixth set? No, fifth, but whatever. This set, it's not gonna, I don't know, maybe it'll be one of those weird ones because they changed it up. They did something a little different. So to bring people back, because the Ursula one, honestly, it's kind of meh. Like, it's just like boring, You, I wanna say. Like the characters in it are, are some of them are interesting and stuff like that. Seeing the super goof in it is pretty cool. But yeah, it's just kind of boring. Like, I look at this and, and I can see the card list and like, Vanellope Von Schweetz, like even Donald Duck, like the pie one, King Arthur, like the Mufasa one, my goodness. Like that is, that is definitely on the desirable ones that I think will probably go up in a substantial amount for this set. Snow White. The Clarabel one is like way different than what Lorcana has done. And it, it, it's not a dark sense that they've done with this, but let's get into it. So hopefully maybe I can show you that there's an enchanted in here. <laughs> All right, so we got two fresh booster boxes in hopes of pulling something that is half decent. They remove that little rip tab on the bottom, which is annoying. If they're already gonna, if you're already gonna bag and seal them, you don't need a little rip tab on the bottom. But I guess it only took them five sets to figure that one out. But. So, I mean, even, again, Ursula one was a little bit dark for obvious different reasons, but the Ursula one, honestly, it's, it is what it is. They always have to make sets. Some of them are gonna be hits and some of them will just be meh so i mean it's hard to see off this because honestly most of the base cards will continue to be the same and the weird thing is they always introduce so whenever they introduce so there this one has gateway cards which yeah i don't know it's hard to follow all the new cards because again every other set seems to be a new version of a specific card Clarabelle. The other Clarabelle cards in this set are crazy. Like the two, the two light on her hooves, the legendary one and the uh, enchanted one. It's very different from where they've come from. Merlin. I, I guess this is the idea, the fun, bright color to what Disney is. Like Disney is that little bright, light when it comes to characters and storylines and like taffeta like look at this it's just happy looking at these cards right you remove the beast and there's the king there's the prince I forget exactly what it is but it's like the first time i've seen that it gives like a little i don't know if i can focus in on there i don't know if you can read it or not but it says beauty and the beast like it actually gives like a trademark that one's kind of Cool. I wonder if it's worth anything. I'm gonna say no. Even Prince Naveen is in this set. Fix it, Felix. What movie is that from? I remember that, but I don't know why I can't remember that specific character. Pete, Waterknock, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Fix it, Felix, Illuminary, and then Maximus. They did a, a good change, I think. Something that was needed. The only problem is, the only way to make this, I wanna say more desirable, is change it in the way that there's access to more art ones. 
It doesn't have to be enchanted specific, but it could just be full art, you know, Disney characters versus enchanted ones. Could be textured special edition ones. I don't know. Like just something, something so you're not like, again, these are 200 plus cards like this. And then you have 18 cards that are enchanted. If they just made some, you know, something else to change the enchanted aspect. So, you know, there's a full art version of stuff, but it's not enchanted. You know, the art comes all the way down. It's still the black, it's still that sort of stuff, but I think that would be good. And that would give, you know, even when kids open it up, it's, they're, they're basically looking at all the same card. It's just a hollow version. That's the only frustrating point of this. Like as much as I love Disney and it's always been, it's been part of, it's been part of the childhood for ever. Growing up in the nineties, Disney was everything. Seeing this, it's repetition of a boring aspect. You know, I open up One Piece, I open up Pokemon, I open up Yu-Gi-Oh's its own thing, whatever, even sports cards. Sports cards still give you access to sign cards, even though they're like, again, not worth anything. But they give you that excitement. Oh my gosh, I got an auto. This, there's enchanted or nothing. There's no in between. There's no like, oh my God, I pulled the rarest basic hollow. So that's the only like frustrating aspect of the Lorcana stuff, which again, I can see, because the price of one of these booster boxes versus Pokemon one or One Piece is honestly very similar. If they're gonna give it to their kids and they're gonna open it up, they'll look at the characters, they'll see that sort of stuff, but other than either nostalgia or a favorite character, because yes, Pokemon is just Pokemon and One Piece is just One Piece. Disney is everything <laughs> it's, and it's so much and it's a very broad landscape of characters, things, just literally so much. I get it. I get it. And I get where Ravensburger is coming with it and I get where Disney and everyone involved with this is coming for it because you have so many characters, you have so many different lines to take off of for Disney. But they obviously want to compete in the card market. And I feel like doing that sort of stuff opens up the avenue for more customers. Again, Pokemon's been a hit for years. One Piece is going crazy now because of that sort of stuff. And they have a card in basically each set that's worth like a thousand dollars. So you know, I've been lucky that I've actually been able to pull one of those thousand dollar plus cards. But again, there's no cards other than the first chapter one. But, you know, paying double what these ones go for is not worth it. It's just not. Minnie Mouse. I've opened up 14 plus booster boxes of this. And I've pulled three. Three enchanted. So with Pokemon, it gives you an opportunity to pull full art of so many different things, right? The car could be worth a dollar. The car could be worth $150. But it gives you the opportunity to do that sort of stuff. Like you could pull a couple cards that are worth combined total 150. You could pull hundred dollar card full $50 card. But in this, it's enchanted or nothing. Like there's five, no, where is this? There's seven cards worth above 15 to $60. And that's just these. But you need to pull the hollow versions of it. So at least with Pokemon, you can pull the full art version and it's always gonna be hollow and it's gonna be a textured hollow. But with this, it's just hollow or nothing, which is unfortunate. 
like I don't know how their sales are. I, I do see it from time to time here and there, but again, you go into most card shops, there's always Pokemon. It doesn't matter if they're a sports card shop or whatever. There's Pokemon guaranteed at these places. So it's just one of those things that I think if they want to compete, which I think they do, they better kind of dive into the other aspect of it where you look at it and be like, oh, yeah, we should probably like add something to it. You know, making 200 versions. And again, a hollow and a non-hollow of each card, which to me, again, still crazy, because that is a lot of packs you gotta open up. Like, a lot. To even try to complete this set is very time consuming. All I say to people that are trying to complete this set, good luck because the patience is going to be the key thing with this. Like you have basically just 24 hollows, but there's nothing, there's nothing that shows from it. It's just, it sucks. It really does, it does suck. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a hundred percent going to have to like go and find singles and like clean singles for this. Cause yeah, that is, I am after that Mufasa one. I don't, like, I'm gonna have to find it. Even the Vanellope. The Vanellope one, the Snow White one, the Clarabelle. Like, I need those in a PSA 10. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I just, I need those. Camilo. Isn't this Bruno? No. Oh. It's the copycat. I'm like, wait. It's Bruno. I mean, honestly, I would really love each of the Enchanted from this set, but it's a lot of money to fork out for Disney cards. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna have to venture. I This set has got me intrigued what they're gonna do. I hope they, I hope they do a little more. Cause it, it, like, again, doing this for 200 times, it gets very repetitive and very frustrating because if you open up a pack, your kids are there. And I would say most kids have opened up Pokemon. Maybe they've opened up sports stuff. And they've seen autos and they've seen the full arts and they've seen the variety of different cards that exist in those sets. Even One Piece. The opening up this, it's kind of like, oh, where's like the rare card? It's like, oh, those hollows are the rare cards. Like, that that's it. And it's like, oh, there's no like full arcs. There's no crazy stuff. I know as a kid, I would probably be like that, especially opening up other ones and seeing it from other sets and seeing it from other cards in general. Who knows? But I know they don't own Pokemon numbers one piece numbers yet again disney is an international thing it's definitely known more over the world than a lot of things but it's hard it's hard to sell a set when it's limited and they're and a lot of people are now are very into completing stuff so to complete this set end to end my goodness that would you would be a long time on getting that stuff done. Getting to it, you know, all that sort of stuff. But Kristoff, I mean, again, if you have the patience and you have the time and you go to a card shop pretty frequently, then, I mean, you could probably do it. It would just, again, be very time consuming. <laughs> that is all. Honestly, I don't think I think you would still have to go out of town to complete this set. And when I, when I mean out of town, I mean like on eBay, cards that are shipped in, because you're not gonna find a lot of the cards you want. You're not gonna find, again, there's an enchanted, if you open a booster box, I mean, I have yet to see more than one in a booster box. Maybe people have been lucky and they've been able to pull, say, Anna has powers. Is that gonna be in the new movie and they were foreshadowing it? Each enchanted is worth a hundred bucks. So even if you wanted to look at the 
ROI, oh, vanilla P. If you sold all the hollows, and maybe you pulled an enchanted out of every other one, Maleficent, maybe there's some sort of ROI on this. But as of right now, honestly, I don't, I don't see it. Like even opening up the other ones, I don't see it. It's just difficult. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what it is. The pull rates are damn near impossible. I mean, if you're gonna include that many enchanted, I feel like they should at least put like one. Maybe they have like maybe the pull like if you pulled uh, if you opened a hundred booster boxes, which I mean that's a big number in itself. But if you pulled a hundred booster boxes, maybe it's one out of every two. You get enchanted. One out of every three, maybe. For me, we're going on one out of every five, I guess. We're getting an enchanted on. And one of the enchanted was the one of the land ones, which is so boring. Which sucks. That one. That one sucks. Last few packs out of this. Vanellope, Anna, hey, hey. The Queen. Was the Queen or something? No, it was not. The, the legendary and the super rare ones. Fix it, Felix. Sneezy. Maleficent. Healing decanter. All right, last one here. I mean, we can always hope, but I doubt there's anything. A water knock. Ulf. Snowana. <laughs> Rudy. Chaka. Magical aid. Sven. Emerald. And Sneezy. Thanks, buddy. I, I like opening up Disney ones to see the artwork and to see that sort of stuff. And I do like to complete the sets, but I mean, even if you calculate, that's two booster boxes and it only gives you 48 hollows. Best case scenario, you get at least maybe one enchanted. Honestly, you're better off just letting somebody else do it, buy it off eBay without the enchanted and stuff in it, and at least it mostly done if you really want to like dive into completing it. These sets are difficult. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, again, Disney stuff always sells. So it's very easy to move Disney stuff. So I, I, I do get why this set and, and just Lorcana in general always stays half decent. And they're probably not printing the same numbers as say Pokemon, sports cards, stuff like that. One Piece, but it's definitely, it, it's in the right direction. I think it just needs something along with the Enchanted. The Enchanted are the alternate arts, the, the beautiful cards, and then you have just like full art versions of those characters, which again, you replace the legendary stuff or you make full art legendary ones. I don't know. I'm just a guy. But again, thank you for watching. If you like what we're doing, please like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the love. Have a great day. See ya.